Oh, it's much better. Alright, how do I get these stupid things off? Man, look at that thing. Pretty strong, too. I think they may actually be strong enough to be usable. Which is excellent, because I would like to use them. Yes! Blade number two. One more to make a propeller. Should we go test it right now? Hmm. Ooh, my little GPS thing is getting up to 5.8 miles an hour. And the fastest I could get it going before I changed the propeller was 5.4. So even with all those screws sticking out, this is definitely faster. I need to go change the other propeller. down my screws or maybe get some low profile screws that'll take out a lot of resistance from the propeller but it's already faster than the other ones and these were aftermarket ones I bought that were already faster than the original ones that came with the motors Man, nice work dude all right so why am I doing all this well my propellers are maxing out at about five miles an hour like, I can get five miles an hour at like a third throttle, and uh, the motors just can't spin and spin fast enough to uh, go faster than that with these propellers. So, I'm changing to like a higher gear, more uh, higher pitch propellers, so they can go, they can push the boat faster at a lower revolution speed, lower RPMs. And it looks like it's working. And, uh, I suspect that on that test, the faster motor was almost dragging the other one, so hopefully I'll get some good speed when I replace them both. Just need uh, seven and a half hours of 3D printing time. All right, I'm gonna get started. Oh, and it takes so long because uh, I set it to print slow, like a fine layer height, so it does more detail, and then not go too fast, so you know, the top parts don't turn into a mushy mess when the thing is hanging around. And also, after I uh, sanded and filed the, the propeller blades pretty smooth, I wipe acetone on them because it dissolves the surface a little and, you know, polishes it. So I'll polish it with acetone for a while to get them to come out extra smooth. But yeah, I'm totally feeling both optimistic and sort of nervous about 
about this. Because, you know, I could hypothetically overload the motors, but I think the thermal shutdown will just turn it off. Well, I don't know, whatever. It's worth the risk anyway. 